I met Tisha when we were at church one day. My, uh, my friend Chris first saw her and let her sit next to us. I met Michael at Hope Church. I had just moved back from Austin, Texas, and I decided to get really involved in the 20-something class. I really liked her right when I saw her. I thought she was extremely pretty. And it was the very first time I had been to it, and I didn't know anyone, and I had told myself, okay, I'm going to introduce myself to someone. She didn't really notice me, but I noticed her a whole lot. And ever since then, we have just been great friends. We we went out uh, to eat afterwards, and we had just been talking, and we Become great friends. We started hanging out afterwards and that was it. That grew into a relationship after a while and of course at first I had no idea that he liked me. He had to pretty much sit me down and tell me, you know Tisha, I like you. But um, ever since then we've just been great. Uh, we get along so well. We have so much in common and he's just a wonderful guy. When I first saw Tisha, obviously I thought she was the prettiest girl in the world. I just instantly thought, wow, this guy is pretty cute. I just loved what I saw and she just glows. After talking to him, I was like, wow, he's really nice. He's easy to talk to. And I did, I did like him at first, but of course he played it off like he didn't like me. So I really didn't think he liked me. So of course then I started thinking, okay, well, we'll just be good friends. I asked Tisha out. Well, Michael asked me out. She didn't realize I liked her. I've been trying to get to know her more and more, and uh, I asked her out finally. He finally came up to me and he said, hey, you want to go out Friday night? And I was, I was thinking, like a date? And he said, yes, yeah, like a date. And so then we went to uh, Firebirds, one of my favorite restaurants. Our first date, we went to Firebirds, and um, it wasn't I didn't think it was awkward. She said it was a little awkward afterwards. It was it was so much fun. It wasn't like I thought it would be. I wasn't nervous. I enjoyed our time together and then afterwards we did a little dancing. I had no idea that Michael could dance so well and we were all just dancing with our friends. It went exactly how I could ever plan it out. He did all kinds of pop and lock moves. He took the guy's hat off his head, did a little move, turned around and threw the guy's hat back in his face and I'm pretty sure he, he won the dance competition. He had me right there. I just had a really good time with her and I knew right then actually that I wanted to marry her. Uh, she didn't know that, but I knew it right away. I knew that Michael was the one when actually we were driving to his parents' house and I was going to meet his parents for the first time and we were gonna go to Mule Day in Columbia and we were all excited and we were driving in the car together and uh, I did not not like country music at all at the time. And then Michael said, you know, I think I could get you to like it. So he started playing all these country songs and we were just singing in the car and having a great time. And I just knew this has to be the one. I knew it pretty quick that she was the one. And I just felt like, you know, I cannot live without this guy in my life. There's no way. The first one of us to say, I love you, was Michael. I told Tisha I love her. I was the first one to do that. But he said it in sort of a joking way. Uh, I believe we were in Cookville. You know what, I do love you and I'm, I'm not going to say it jokingly, you know, I mean it. I knew I loved her. The proposal I planned out with my sisters. It was my sister's birthday and she volunteered to let me do it that day. We had all gone over to his parents' house to have a birthday celebration. Uh, so Tisha wouldn't be thinking it was coming. Uh, we had the little birthday party and then afterwards me and Tisha went to look at some horses in our backyard. I drove on over there and there was this just big box sitting there by the gate. And I was thinking, who would leave this here? And so we walked, when we were walking up to it, I noticed there was a scrapbook inside. And I loved a scrapbook, but of course I was completely clueless. And on the front of it, it said, Tisha, will you marry me? Then I saw our picture in it, and then I was thinking to myself, oh no, what did I miss? Is this an anniversary I missed or something? And I still was completely clueless. She didn't get it at first. I had to tell her that I wanted to marry her. And the whole time I was just blown away, completely surprised, and I kept saying, is this for real? Is this for real? And then I got on a knee and I proposed to her. And I just kept saying, are you serious? Is this for real? And he said, well, will you? I said, well, will you marry me? And she finally said yes. It was such a blast and we, you know, went back to the house and had a little celebration with the family. It was so much fun, completely surprised.
Tisha supports me by going to my soccer games and going to my flag football games and always encouraging me through uh, work and stress through life. He always tries to encourage me in every way possible, no matter what I'm doing, whether, um, you know, when, it was, when I was studying for grad school, he always tried to encourage me and help me know that, you know, you're going to do great and very encouraging. And he always tries to support me uh, whenever I'm stressed out, whether it be work or definitely wedding planning. He always tries to find little ways to make me happier and find little ways to encourage me. With our religion, we support each other by praying for each other. He's always open to growing with me. Um, when we had our premarital counseling, he was very open to it, which was great. And, you know, he was open to trying to change to be better um, and helping me try to change to be better, which is amazing. Praying together and sometimes reading the Bible together. and. Uh, encouraging each other. And he always tries to provide for whatever I need and always tries to make me happy really. My favorite characteristic about Tisha is how goofy she is and uh, that she laughs at my jokes. My favorite characteristic about Michael is how happy he is in life, how positive he is. Um, sometimes I can be very discouraged and and different things, whether I'm stressed out or whatever it might be, but he always tries to bring me up and he tries to tell me, you know, it's going to be great in the end. And I know it will, but, you know, in the time, it's hard to see it that way. We'll talk about cats and watch cat videos and uh, just laugh at them and make jokes and give them joke names. He always, always tries to make me happy. The characteristic about him that just drives me nuts, uh, that would probably be... If she wants something done, let's get it done now. There's no reason to wait. He plays so many sports, and he's so involved in sports, which that's fine, but sometimes it can be overwhelming. In planning for the wedding, Tisha would need something done, and I would say, I'll do it in five minutes, and she would say, you'll do it now. Everything is about football, and, you know, I'm trying to get on his level, but it's very difficult. I did it now. Especially Titans. If it's Titans, then, you know, that's our whole day is Titans. <laughs> I see the two of us five years from now uh, looking for a new house. Either in Nashville or around Nashville, maybe in the Franklin area. He's not very sold on that yet, but I might try to convince him. I plan on it being in Nashville, and it will have an awesome pool and an awesome backyard. For the many animals that we'll have at that point, and looking into maybe having some little kids. We might start having kids around that time. <laughs> I think we will have two to three kids. I think we'll have about three, probably not all in five years from now. Um, Career-wise, in five years, I plan on staying with the job that I'm at. I see Michael probably being sort of in a supervisory position at Farmers, um, or he might be working with his dad by then. Uh, possibly moving up and Tisha is going to be moving up in her company also. Well I hope I'll be uh, in some sort of management position uh, with DSI. I see us being really happy and just really enjoying each other, just having so much fun in life. Tisha, it's finally here. We've made it. I'm looking forward to what is in our future. You mean the world to me. You've brought so much joy to my life. Um, I can't wait to call you my wife. Michael, I am so incredibly ecstatic to marry you tomorrow. You're the most beautiful woman in the world. I love you so much. I just can't believe how incredibly blessed I am to have you in my life. We've been through a lot and I'm looking forward to the, what the future has for us. I can't believe how wonderful of a man I'm about to marry. I look forward to the many events that we'll have in the future. Uh, you mean the world to me. I cannot be any happier. This is going to be the happiest day of my life. And I can't wait to call you my wife. You are absolutely everything I ever wanted. And you are so sweet. You're so thoughtful. You're such a great godly man. And you're absolutely everything I ever wanted. And I just, I cannot wait. And I love you with all of my heart. I love you so much. 
to my future mother and father-in-law, thank you so much for this amazing rehearsal dinner. And thank you for all of your support and everything that you've done for us. We really, really appreciate it. And we're so excited to be celebrating with everyone here tonight. And thank you to my parents as well for all of your support throughout the years. Thank you for supporting our relationship. Thank you for absolutely everything you've done for my life and for Michael's. And I just, I can't believe how blessed I am to have amazing parents and family like you all. And thank you so much for all the wedding planning, all the, everything that you've done for the wedding. I know it's going to be absolutely incredible and I can't wait. I love you all. And I just, everything that Tisha said, thank you so much to everyone putting this together. It's been a great, great time uh, being with everyone and we're, we love you so much. Thank you.